Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dulakia, is going to explain you applications of Gauss's law for electric field. So here I'll explain you two applications. One application of Gauss's law for a calculation of electric field due to point charge. And then I'll explain you second application for Gauss's law for a calculation of electric field due to line charge. So let us have first application of Gauss's law for electric field due to point charge. Due to point charge and that we know that electric field that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by R square into the unit vector direction of R. But let us have this derivation based on Gauss's law. So see as per Gauss's law as per Gauss's law, if I have one point charge over here and if I have enclosed surface, right? So I have enclosed surface. So that is sphere. You can see this is enclosed surface, which is sphere, right? And this is what distance R. Then as per Gauss's law, as per Gauss's law, we can say integration for enclosed surface integration E dot ds that is equals to Q by epsilon 0. As per Gauss's law, E dot ds that is Q divided by epsilon 0. Now see, if you observe electric field, so that is emerging from charge Q and that is happening like this, right? And if you consider any small surface, let us have this is small surface. And if you see the direction of this small surface ds, then that direction will be even this. So if you observe angle in between surface and electric field if you observe angle in between this surface and this electric field that then that angle will be zero so you'll be finding electric field and surface both are parallel to each other so we can say angle in between electric field and surface that theta that is equals to zero so we can say this integration enclosed surface integration that will be now e ds cos 0 that is 1 is equals to q by epsilon 0 right and this charge that is enclosed by this surface so if you do this integration then that will be electric field into enclosed surface area for this sphere that is 4 pi r square and that is equals to q by epsilon 0 right so here we can say electric field that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q divided by r square and that into unit vector direction r right so we have proved this electric field due to point charge that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square into unit vector direction r as per Gauss's law. Now let us have second application. See second application is electric field due to line charge. Now see we have already derived electric field due to line charge and that electric field due to line charge is rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r into unit vector direction r. Now let us derive this as per Gauss's law. So first we need to consider a line charge. So I am considering line charge first over here. See this is line charge and on this line charge density that is rho L and let us say this line charge is positive.
Now see, as if this line charge is positive, then electric field that will emerge from this line charge. Now, to apply Gauss law, I'll consider one cylinder over here, right? So, I'm just considering one cylinder. You can see. Now see, with this cylinder, if you observe, there are three different surfaces. One is this bottom surface, second is this top surface and third that is this curved surface, right? Now, first we are dealing with to calculate what is, electric, what is Gauss's law which we can apply it to this surface, right? So as per Gauss's law, zero. Now here we have three different surface. Let us give naming to that surface. This is bottom surface. This is top surface and this is curved surface. Right. Now see for this bottom surface, if you see the direction of bottom surface, then direction of this bottom surface that is perpendicular to this. So we can say that is there in this direction. So ds that is there in this direction. And if you observe electric field, if you observe electric field because of this bottom surface, so that is happening in this direction, right? So in between these two surface angle that is 90 degree over here. Similarly, for top surface, if you observe this top surface, then direction of this top surface that is there in this direction and electric field due to this line charge that is there in this direction, right? So the angle in between this ds and electric field that is again 90 degree over here. Now when you consider this curved surface, so direction of this curved surface, let us say this is small differential element ds. So direction of this that is in this direction. Electric field because of this line charge that is even there in this direction. Right. So for this here we will be having angle theta that is zero. So for bottom surface angle in between electric field and surface that is 90 degree for top surface angle in between electric field and uh, surface that is again 90 degree and for curved surface electric field and surface angle will be zero. So now we will apply this to Gauss's law. So for this surface not. Now as I have explained for this top we have angle that is 90 degree. So E dot ds that is E D S cos 90 and cos 90 is 0. So this E dot D S that is 0. For this bottom, you will be finding E dot D S that is again E D S cos 90 for bottom that is having 90 degree angle. So again for bottom E dot integration E D S that will be again 0. And for this curved surface, this E dot ds, that is E ds cos 0 and cos 0 is 1. So E dot ds, that is E ds. So here for top flux will be 0, for bottom flux will be 0 and for curved surface flux will be surface integration of E ds and that is equals to Q by epsilon 0. Now, see, we have this calculation for this curved surface only, right? So for curved surface, this is electric field and surface for surface area for this curved surface, that will be, see, if I say this distance that is R, if I say this distance that is R, right? 
and if I say length of this cylinder that is L then surface area will be 2 pi r into L where r is radius of this cylinder L is length of this cylinder right then surface area will be 2 pi r L and that is equals to Q by epsilon 0. So we can say this electric field is equals to Q divided by 2 pi r L epsilon naught. Now see here we have line charge right and what is line charge? Line charge is rho L and that is charge divided by length. So if you place rho L is equals to charge by length in this then this electric field that will be rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r and the direction of electric field that is in the direction of vector r. So if I place direction then that will be in the vector r. So you can see this is what the formula which we have already derived for electric field due to line charge. So this is how we can utilize Gauss's law for a calculation of electric field due to point charge and due to line charge. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely your suggestions will give motivation to me and based on your suggestions in future I'll make videos which will solve all those queries which is required to be solved on my channel to explain engineering fundamentals properly on my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.